All right, guys, we are back. What is going on, YouTube? A.A. Ron here, and we have another teaser image from the World of Warships Legends official Facebook page. Shout out to my fellow Chads who tagged me in Discord. Appreciate that. And guys, is this the next campaign? Well, actually, Aaron, I'm a super tester who wears way too much hair gel. And yes, don't get your account deleted trying to prove me wrong. As always, guys, these are speculation videos. Sometimes I actually know the next campaign ship, sometimes I don't. But in this situation, we do know that this ship is most likely coming in the next update. However, I don't think this is going to be the campaign. I apologize for the little bit of clickbait. There was just a funny situation with someone who definitely wore way too much hair gel last time trying to prove me wrong, even though I already knew what the next ship was going to be. But anyway... The ship that this is is the Francesco Ferruccio Italian Special Premium Tier 7, of course, on PC Cruiser. So I'm guessing that this is going to be a Tier 6, which will most likely not be our campaign. Who knows? Again, this is pure speculation. Let me say it again. But without further ado, let's go ahead and review this ship. Now, on top of this ship, we're going to talk about a few other ships that I truly wish would come instead of what is probably going to amount to another very mediocre cruiser. Um, or, or addition to this game. I, I feel like after the Weimar, we have stopped adding, you know, ships that are bordering OP or very strong just because of the backlash. But anyway, the project of Long Range Light Cruiser was developed as part of the program of a program that involved the construction of several dozen ships of various types for the why is the word the not there? For Italian Navy, for the Italian Navy operations in the Indian Ocean. One of the first sketches of an 8,000-ton cruiser was an unusual-looking ship with 152mm guns housed in quadruple gun turrets. <clears throat> Excuse me. Among her other features were a long operational range and 90mm dual-purpose guns that were designed in 1939. I'm going to be quite honest. I am excited for this ship, but I have a bad feeling that this, is, this ship is going to be utterly atrocious. Uh, eight guns with an 11-second reload and only 152 millimeter caliber. You do get the option for HE as well as SAP, and we know that SAP, even on low-caliber guns, can absolutely smack, but I just have a bad feeling about this ship. Only eight guns, Italian accuracy. I'm sure you can get access to rolling smoke. Yeah, I, I believe I saw rolling smoke in there, yeah. So um, exhaust smoke generator, but even on Legends, it's like 17 or 18 seconds, so not the full... Uh, duration that they have on PC. You do get torpedoes. Um, however, they've kind of got a long reload time compared to other Italian cruisers. Decent long, you know, decent range on those torps. They're still very slow and don't do that much damage. So floating sea mines, basically. And your HP, 28,400. Now, this is a tier 7 on PC, so probably a tier 6 in our game, which, again, is most likely not going to be the campaign. Again, we don't know. So don't attack me, Jersey Shore. But uh, <laughs> only a few people are going to get that reference. But I, I'm just not excited. I mean, I am excited it's a new ship, but I just I have a bad feeling, especially after the most recent campaigns and, and ships, that this thing is going to be anywhere, you know, nowhere close to strong. So that is the ship. That is the teaser image again for the fourth time. It is pure speculation. But something else I want to do in this video, we've done it you know a few times before, but I want to talk about ships that... I think would be great campaign ships or ships that needed to be added to the game just to make the game more fun to add more variety. Right off the bat, we're going to stick with ships of Italy and we're going to go right down to it, the Venezia, the cream of the crop of Italian cruisers, 15 203 millimeter guns with SAP. You do have a long reload, but with 15, you know, I've seen these ships on PC delete full health Shimakazes. So if they do anything, you know, if they do the ship any justice uh, and add her, she would be a fantastic addition to the game. But regardless of, you know, ships that I specifically want, there are multiple other ships that could be added. For example, the Michelangelo, I think would be a decent campaign ship. It's off tier. If they gave it maybe a little bit better reload, then, you know, this ship could be something that would potentially be fun and is not an American or German battleship or Japanese battlecruiser for that matter. Uh, I know that battleships are the... Most players play battleships a good majority of this game, and of course, if you're a business person trying to sell a product, you would want to sell to a majority of the people who buy you know, your product. I get that, but however, I, I just think that w we cater to them way too much, and they buy the campaign, and then they play two games, and then they're done. So maybe making or, or choosing a ship that is potentially a little bit different. 
But hopefully with the addition of the Francisco there, we get maybe another Italian cruiser commander and then the Venezia is on the way. I'm guessing that the Venezia is down the road because during the Bureau project to get the Venezia, you will probably have to play this thing. This is, again, just pure speculation, but regardless. Yeah, so other ships that I think would be great to, to add to the game, and not only um, as campaign ships or Bureau ships, but just overall. I think the Alexander, Alexander Nevsky would be fantastic. We Of course, we know we see that the Petro is a Tier 10 on PC. It's a Tier 8 in our game. There's so many Russian cruisers that have yet to come to Legends that I just, I don't know what they're waiting on. There is, sometimes I feel like they just go down a, a list of ships. It's like French cruiser, French cruiser, French cruiser, Japanese battle cruiser, Japanese battle, German battleship. It's like we have five or six, four or five Russian cruisers that we could add to high tiers right now, and I think they would make the game better. Uh, the Commissar, the Svetspul, the Smolensk, the Moskva, the Netsky. There's so many ships here uh, that, that I just think would do fantastic. Not only that, we do technically have a Russian cruiser. It's the Stalingrad at Legendary Tier. But we do not have a Russian battleship at Legendary Tier. We got a taste of the Borodino, which I think would be a fantastic campaign. But we've got this ship here, the, Nar the Narvarin, as well as the Slava and the Kremlin, which both could fit at Legendary Tier. And if they really wanted to, they could probably put one of these at Legendary Tier and then make the other one a Tier 8 campaign. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I am, uh, you know, rather busy with work, so I'm not too invested in the game right now. But I imagine if, you know, I really enjoyed this game as I did in days past, I would be pretty upset with the ship selection um, being added. We did just get the Z-52 and the Zhao, so we are getting up there in terms of overall balance at Legendary Tier. But Legendary Tier to me is just truly a nightmare with the lack of understand, you know, simple understanding of the game. But again, that is just a veteran's gripe with the game. I know that I have a lot of new players, new viewers in my videos, and I always want to be fair to you guys, as well as, you know, try to hold a rather pragmatic opinion, you know, open-minded about those things. So let me know what you guys think, uh, and uh, yeah, we will see you guys in the next video. Patch notes, I think, soon? I don't know. Um, I, I, I'm so... My, uh, you know, legend cycle is completely thrown off. I am so invested in work right now. I actually peeled away about 30 minutes just to do this video. And we'll, we got to go back to studying. So I'm really enjoying the new job. I hope you guys... I'm sorry for not streaming as much. I know uh, my members are missing you guys. But I will see you guys this weekend for sure. Hopefully uh, tonight or whenever this video drops. But you guys have a great one. Get o go out and get after it. Attack the day. Love you guys. A run out. Peace.